Good morning and welcome to our morning prayer on this Tuesday morning of the sixth week of Ordinary Time. Just wanted to give a special thank you to uh, Patrick Jekinowski for assisting us in our prayers this morning and providing the song and music and then Brandon Shetkin who is behind the scenes making all of this possible with the media and those kinds of things. So special thank you for them as we go with today and um, special thank you for all of you too for joining us in this morning prayer. We'll begin in just a moment. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. God, we praise you. God, we bless you. God, we name you. Sovereign Lord, mighty King, who angels worship, Father by your church adore. All creation shows your glory, heaven and earth draw near your throne, singing, Holy, 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 Lord of hosts and God alone. Lord, send forth your light and your truth. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation. From deceitful and cunning men, rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O send forth your light and your truth, let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the harp, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Almighty Father, source of everlasting light, send forth your truth into our hearts and pour over us the brightness of your light. Lord, Lord send, send forth, forth your, your light and your, your truth. truth. Lord, keep us safe all the days of our life. Once I said, in the noontime of life I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling like a shepherd's tent is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion he breaks all my bones. Day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow, I utter shrill, shrill cries. I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak, gazing heavenward. O Lord, I am straight. Be my surety. You have preserved my life from the pit of destruction when you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not the nether world that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do those who go down into the pit await your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks as I do today. Fathers declare to their sons, O God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing to stringed instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Lord, Lord keep, keep us safe all, all the days, days of, of our, our life. life. To you, O God, our praise is due in Zion. To you, our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you, we pay our vows. You who hear our prayer. To you, all flesh will come with its burden of sin. Too heavy for us are offenses, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he whom you chose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God, our Savior, the hope of all the earth and of the far distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength. 
you are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders. The lands of sunrise and sunset you fill with your joy. You care for the earth, give it water, you fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth, you drench its furrows, you level it, soften it with showers, you bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness, abundance flows in your steps, in the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with flocks, the valleys are decked with wheat, they shout for joy, yes, they sing. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, hope of all the earth, hear the humble prayer of your children as we sing your praises. Pour out your Spirit on us, so that our lives may bear fruit abundantly. To you, to you O God, God, our, our praise is due in Zion. Zion. You are not in the dark, brothers, that the day should catch you off guard like a thief. No, all of you are children of the light and of the day. We belong neither to darkness nor to night. Lord, listen to my cry. All my trust is in your promise. Lord, listen to my cry. All my trust is in your promise. Dawn finds me watching, crying out for you. All my trust is in your promise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, listen to my cry. All my trust is in your promise. Lord, save us from the hands of all who hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He, he has come, come to his people and set them free. He has, he has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old, that he, that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, save, save us, us from, from the hands of all who hate us. Let us bless our Savior who enlightens the world by his resurrection. Let us humbly beg him. Keep us, Lord, on your path. Lord Jesus, we honor your resurrection in our morning prayer. The hope of your glory enlightens our day. Accept, Lord, our prayers and petitions as the first fruits of our day. Grant that we may progress today in your love and that all things may work together for our good and the good of all. Make our light shine so brightly before men that seeing our good works they may give glory to the Father. Gather in these prayers and those in our hearts we lift up the prayer that Christ Jesus has given us. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord Jesus Christ, true light of the world, you guide all mankind to salvation. Give us the courage, strength, and grace to build a world of justice and peace, ready for the coming of that kingdom, where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.